Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In the previous episode, we did a lot of stuff in, well, Mad Monster Mansion of all places and I died. We got our first death of the game. And we're probably going to get our second in this episode, but real quickly though, before we go to the next world, I want to activate this uh, thing over here. And yeah, if you guys haven't been in the pumpkin form yet, it's even working, okay good it is. You should probably do that by now since you're basically gonna need it and that hasn't activated yet that'll be happening possibly in the next room possibly so yeah you need the water level to be up one in the next area since you, know, you gotta go there anyway so you might as well get the pumpkin form all right so now when we come in here it's instantly gonna be water a fight so you're gonna have to deal with that let's swim it down here real quick though and gosh guys I do not like this next level it's not that it's super hard or you're gonna die a billion times it's just I don't like it. It's not nostalgic. I never played the level as a kid. It's just dang it hard. It's all gross and industrialized. Not a fan, not a fan. But we're going to beat it, hopefully, in one episode. I really don't want to do any other episodes in multiple parts. And when the back of Grunty's hand whoops your butt, you'll hardly stand. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's a pretty good rhyme, pretty good rhyme. I'll give you that one. But yeah, we're supposed to be coming over here to these boxes. And is that the rare, rare symbol? Yes, it is. Once we're going to hit this switch, that'll make the water level in this room, too, which will let us go to a new room. That's actually right over there, yeah. Oh my gosh. I gotta admit, though, the theming... Oh, I actually want to pick this up. We're probably going to need a couple of golden feathers for this next area, just for something that we're going to do. We're basically going to cheese a boss fight, but... Boss fight's not really that hard to begin with, so it's whatever. And gosh, I just don't... I just don't like getting two of these, like, ten jiggies in this area. The area itself isn't designed horribly, outside of a couple very odd camera angles. It's just, ugh, I don't like it. Although, since I'm playing the Xbox version, it's going to be a little bit easier. And yes, the area I'm referring to is Rusty Bucket Bay. Whoa! Yeah, this place, it's, it's kind of rough, but I think we'll be fine. Rusty Bucket Bay has been unlocked. Also, we need to get that, uh... That other cauldron so it can warp here quickly if we so desire. So, I'm gonna grab that real quick and then we're heading inside the level. So, yeah. Pretty much almost one of the easiest, uh, like, areas to unlock if you think about it once you have the, uh, pumpkin thing done. Maybe, sort of. And yeah, now he's awake so we can go from that room back to here if we so desire. And we won't even have to swim. All right, guys, here we go. Rusty Bucket Bay. Oh, gosh, it's going to be a toughie, I'll tell you what. Man, oh, man. I'm going to shut up about the difficulty here. If anything, I'm, I'm probably just going to run out of oxygen. That happens a lot to me in here of all the places. And I need to make sure I can't go through either of these. Good, I can't. All right, all right. All right. That's cool, that's cool. Let's jump in this. Uh, I don't even know what you'd call this thing, but... We're going to jump inside of it, and if memory serves you right, there are a couple of uh, things to get in here. We want to avoid that TNT box, though, because it is a mean one, and it will explode on Banjo and Kazooie. <laughs> Some penis. Super bad. All right, he blew up. So now we're full HP. Let's get some of these. No. Oh. Apparently, I was too close to the wall. All right, game. All right, all right. Some of these and just go through it like that. Pretty simple. We already have 10% of the notes in this level. Wowee! It's like we're 10% of the way done! Except we're totally not! Haha! <laughs> Anyways. So, uh, I think I'm missing a map room, but I don't really care. We're just gonna avoid this lifesaver thing. And okay. So there is a super difficult jiggy to get in this level. It is, <laughs> it is most likely gonna kill you if you're inexperienced, but... I'm going to say that and then probably die myself, but we're going to do that first, because if you're playing the N64 version, oh gosh, you want to do that one up first as well. And my oily water in Neo Plunge, you'll lose air while in that grunge, grunge, whatever. The jiggy's basically down there. Now, how are we going to stop those rotor blades from spinning? Well, not that easy, and I basically need to get back on the ship to where I was before. As I was saying before I fell off into the water, no, hey, a mumbo token. You definitely want to grab that too, because the last transformation in this game is going to cost quite a few of those mumbo tokens. But yes, come in here to get started on this very obnoxious part. Now, let's just uh, let's destroy these skippers, which if you use the beak attack, they die in one hit. But if you roll into one with Banjo, it takes two. Don't know why that is. Let's get these four notes in. Oh, gosh, I don't want to do this, man. But we might as well get it over with. Confound it. 
we're gonna hit this switch, which is gonna slow it down the fans in the next area. Now, the next area has a bottomless pits. So those fans basically need to be off for you to even do that segment. So make sure you do it. And I do not want to waste golden feathers at all. This thing is alive, it'll attack you a whole bunch. Just avoid it. That's basically the advice I can give you there, and gosh, this place. Ugh, I just don't like it, man. I just don't like it. I mean it all around it's a difficult level. And it has Rare's whole mentality of, oh, it's a metal area. Better better be the hardest thing in the whole game. <laughs> Anyways going to slowly flutter into this little area, and inside there is going to be half a honeycomb. Alright, John, let's suck it up and get this crap started. God dang it. Yeah. So first thing we want to do is come up here, do that. Nice, nice. We're going to use Talent Trot. Scale these three gears, which I can't tell you how many times I'll fall off and die before we even did this section. Gosh. Okay, let's dispose of this dude. This is how I like to do this. I'm going to take this path, get these four notes, and then we're going to wait... I'm gonna wait for it again, man. I do not want to die here. Gosh, just be annoying. So we're gonna wait for this thing. I probably should have gone for it. I mean, it's there for a pretty long time, and all right. We're gonna do a flip, and then we're gonna get to over here. Then ground pound on this to basically slow down the blades a little bit. It's not gonna slow them all the way though, which is the issue. All right, let's just wait for this giant menacing metal fan to stop going in. Uh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work at all. Okay. <laughs> Gosh. Let's try and wait for it to slow down a little more before we're going for it. Nope. Nope. I'm too squeamish, man. I'm too squeamish. I'm too scared to fall in the bottom of the even though there's no point. No point in being scared. We got it this time, though. We got it this time. There we go. Awesome. 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 Okay. So there is a jiggy right there. That is technically our first jiggy. And this is why I like going this way, because you get all the notes, and the notes are pretty important since... Once we activate the switch in here, we're going to have a time limit to get back to the bottom, or to the back of the ship. We're going to have to do that really quickly. I want to make sure to get the notes so we don't have to come back here ever again. Alright. This one seems simple enough. Uh, don't want to get knocked into the pit, though. Gosh, why am I feeling so hard, man? Suck it up, John. Suck it up. This isn't that hard. Uh, so much damage. So much damage. I'm already at half HP, man. Come on. Alright, here's an idea. Let's use Kazooie. There we go. That wasn't that hard. But what is really hard is this next part. We're going to have to grab those four notes, get over this segment, and do this all in like 60 seconds. It's hard, hard, hard. I don't care what you say. This is probably the hardest part of the game, at least for me. So now we have 65 seconds to do all this crap. Get that jiggy at the back of the ship. And it's not the easiest thing in the world if I haven't made that extremely evident in the last 30 seconds. Uh, it's 54 seconds, not bad. All right, let's position the camera. And just do this really quickly. So now we have to get up those steps, and I am not even going to bother with that honeycomb thing. So there's way more better places to get health. Let's just climb up these ladder segments a little quick, like. Okay, okay, okay. 30 seconds to go. I feel like I can do this on the first try. The issue is we can get the jiggy. Okay, where are the, oh, I, I skipped it, I skipped it, crap, that might actually hurt my time a lot. Ugh. Let's town trot up and hustle, hustle, hustle. I don't think there's any enemies excluding that one bitey thing, so let's just get there ASAP. 17 seconds, 16 seconds, oh, okay, we're gonna have to do some pretty good swimming tactics. Okay, okay, we can definitely get it, yeah, 10 seconds is way more than enough. Let's get that jiggy, and holy crap, I am glad to be done with that. So all we gotta do now is get out of here with our oxygen levels intact. Already lost two. It's, it's not terrible, it's not terrible. Let's just do this. I get on this for a little while. And alright, so with that, with that out of the way, two of the hardest jiggies, in my opinion, now that area is done. The rest of the level isn't necessarily a breeze, but by comparison, it's not as hard. I wanted to go down, game. I wanted to go definitely down. Definitely, definitely down. Let's get that uh, purplish ginger. And yeah, I've kind of went over this a little bit. Actually, I know I skipped it. Oh gosh, please, 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 please. Okay, good. <laughs> that uh, this, the way oxygen works in this level is, if you even touch this water, you're slowly gonna lose oxygen, which sucks. So you gotta stand on like solid ground, or you're gonna lose it. And oh gosh, the dolphin is in pain. But we'll get to him in a little bit. First off, I need to grab some of these notes and definitely get some HP back. Gosh, I'm missing a lot, aren't I? Goodness. Let's get the notes first, then go for the HP. Problem is the bees are gonna like, oh gosh, like you killed the 
Bunny, box, thing will kill you. It's like, dude, just chill out, man. Just chill out. It's not even a big deal. You're gonna respawn when this level's done over anyways. It's not a big deal. So let's do this. And then talent trot. Get all three of the honeycomb things. Luckily we can go a lot faster with the bees. Okay, so things are looking up now that that's over. Let's actually start the way the level is intended. Basically, you're supposed to just circle around it. It's not that complex of an area to take care of, but gosh, it's just it's just a pain. That that one segment. It probably looked extremely easy, and it's like, dude, just do the fan part. But it's not a time. It's not. Now here is an interesting thing: the toll bridge. The toll bridge. It's kind of weird. We put uh, six of these eggs inside of it, and then the bridge is gonna extend to where we can get this Ecom Tokum. You don't have to extend it all the way, but I like doing that, because you don't have to deal with a little chomper, dude. And say hello to the second hardest segment in the game, or actually in the level, not in the game, there's way harder segments in the game than this. This area, woohoo, let's come down here real quick. All right, this segment sucks because the camera is atrocious. Oh gosh, I do not like this at all. But we're gonna have to do it, so let's fly to the corner of this room. Beat this dude that's gonna pop out of there. And am I missing any health? Oh, yeah, I'm still missing a little bit, but that's fine. Let us use the jump pad right here. And I think we can hook the wall. Yeah, let's get a one up. Not a bad idea. Now let me look in a uh, third person. Oh, wrong way. Alright, so we need to make it to that box. I'm gonna go like diagonal. <laughs> Perfect. All right, a perfect landing from a perfect bay. All right. So we're gonna do that and get just these four notes. That's literally the only reason I did that. Though there is a jiggy to get in here. So I'm gonna try and get the jiggy, huh? Can I actually go backwards? I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah, I can. It's right up here. All right. So now all we gotta do is walk forward, which should be simple. Oh, whoa! You guys, dig it, man. You gotta dig it. Oh, I hate this part. But if you mess up, you can just uh, come out here. And try again. Let's try that again, and this time locate the jiggy, which is over there. <laughs> Needed to pause, apparently, for me to do that. And all right, let's do that. And oh, apparently that wasn't good enough. Let's try and flip again. And there we go. The third jiggy. This place, well, actually after this and maybe getting the empty honeycomb, it won't be nearly as bad. So let's swim down here, though, and avoid this piranha. Next, we're going to get a bit of a humanitarian jiggy, you know, just, just one of those. See, there is a dolphin that is in pain because he is under the anchor of the Rusty Bucket Bay. I actually would like to find out where I'm actually heading. Oh gosh, I don't know if I'll have enough oxygen to do all of this. Probably have to take a break and get some more. But yeah, swim right into the anchor area and pop out of here. Nice. So now we did this. Let's just get back on solid ground before we lose all of our oxygen. Okay, cool. So now there's gonna be a bunch of these guys. Oh, oh, oh. They all die the same way. It's like they're brothers or something. Anyways, let's grand pound on this dude. Actually, there's another dude. Okay. Let's get some notes. And then, once we hit this button in the center, that dolphin is gonna be set free. And so far, doing pretty decent on notes. Even though I haven't really explored a bunch of a level, which makes me very happy. And again, some of the notes are just like hidden. There's like, ah, two notes over here, two notes over there. And it's like, so much and thanks guys I found this earlier it's yours oh <laughs> you just poops out uh, jiggy sure didn't steal that jiggy from me buddy or whatever did the jiggies even belong to banjo I never really got that all right so we're full health now we're going to basically just swim over here really quickly then dive as deep as we can go all right uh, uh. Gosh, I don't like this level, guys. <laughs> you can probably hear it just like in my commentary, like, boy, he sure doesn't like that level, I tell you what. All right, so four, four oxygen things left. Now if I can just find the jiggy. Mm, it should be on the floor somewhere, okay. Now let's work our way to the surface just so we don't die. Oh gosh, this may be really risking it. This is really risking it. <laughs> Because, you know, in even if you're at the top of, the, like, the water, you're still losing oxygen because it's dirty water. And great! We did that! So now we have four jiggies. We're still not done, though. So I gotta tack down the gingos. We haven't seen a single ginger. This whole level. A ginger. Life according to I went back in there. Darn it. Did I mention yet how much I hate this level? I really hate it. I don't like it at all. It's really obnoxious. Now, okay, really quickly, though, I'm gonna grab these notes. But we still gotta go back down there. Snackers is down there, believe it or not, so that's gonna be a total pain in the butt. 
Let's see if I can just get down there really quickly though. Okay, that's actually what I wanted to do. And go down before Snackers has a chance to bind us. And we still gotta grab that Jinjo. So, ugh, it's just, this little corner sucks, man. It's just annoying. I don't like it. Mostly because I messed up getting that Jiggy, but it's okay, it's okay. So this room is small enough. It's actually a good place to get some uh, life if you're missing any, because there's two really easy enemies to hit, because their hitboxes are gigantic. But we're gonna grab pound that switch, and hey, a empty honeycomb appeared, which is pretty nice. Do I need this? Actually, I don't. Okay. So let's keep uh, that energy on the board, I guess. And run over to this flight pad, which is right over here. Okay, we're gonna have to destroy this dude too. Gosh, he's so stupid. So now our goal is we're gonna fly into this. Okay, sweet. So now we have all of the empty hummy cones. Let's get out of here, and probably was not the smartest idea to beak bomb, because I could've hit the... The uh, wall there, but I guess I didn't. All right, so now we got to get it out of here with um oxygen intact and without Snackers taking a bite at us. All right, oh, oh, oh no, 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 no! Come on, Snackers, be cool, man, be cool. Ugh, hate that guy so much. And okay, now that that's been taken care of, the rest of the level should honestly be somewhat of a breeze, hopefully, if everything goes accordingly. Let's just grab this ginger real quickly. I'm gonna jump straight over Snackers, and hopefully get to the exit ASAP. And alright, so now that's taken care of, what do I need to do next? Well, we technically need to get uh, that green ginger, so I guess I'm gonna meet you on top of the warehouse again! And okay, we made it, finally, after the very obnoxious part. We're done. Okay, sweet. So next, we gotta grab this green ginger, which is sort of a balancing act on this, like, these barrels. Kinda cool, kinda cool, but even cooler is a green ginger. So now we just gotta track down the blue one, which is actually very close to here. One and two. Let's get the Ecom Tokum. Let's count trot and then go. And there we go. Nice. <laughs> Went to avoid this TNT guy, though. Just let him explode. Then he's out of your way. Now we're gonna do a bit of a crane game. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Um, oh gosh, do I wanna do that first? Eh, I don't think it'll matter. I mean, we can get there pretty easily regardless. So really quickly, actually, no, I need to hit that button. All right, let's hit this button first. So this part could be kind of tough. Oh, didn't wanna do that, I wanna do that. All right. So now a Jiggy is gonna spawn on the other side of this crane. We're gonna have to get there ASAP and then jump off the crane and get back to the boat. It's not the funnest jiggy in the world, but hey, somebody's gonna do it. So look, now let's quickly talent trot. Try and go in a straight line. We're gonna jump off halfway though, then flutter right to it. And nice, we had zero seconds to spare because it makes you play this cutscene. Although, don't worry, the box will drop once you're done with that. And okay, sweet. Let's grab this Ecom Token, which I guess technically could use the front of the ship to get there quicker. And did I already go in here? Let's find out. I actually don't remember. Oh yeah, this is the kitchen. Alright, so there's some very, very valuable things to get in this kitchen. Mostly notes. Mostly, so you want you want the notes. There's one really obnoxious note that is right there, and the fridge kind of just stops you from seeing it. And I don't like the level design. <laughs> Actually, truthfully, I really like the song here. I really like the setting. It's just, gosh, they put some really obnoxious things in a kid's game of all places. Hey, who am I to disagree? This game's perfect, as perfect as can be. So I was trying to do some rhyming. Didn't really plan, pan out, but hey. So we got those, uh, so we're only fist missing 40 notes. Those 40 notes could be just about anywhere, oh gosh. This one, I believe, is a fake. Yep, it's gonna try to eat Banjo and Kazooie, but we're just gonna ignore him. And then make our way over here, which should give us a, um... Yeah, a couple more notes. And a couple more of these swabbies. Uh, swabbies. They're, they're pretty funny. They're like, oh, hi! <laughs> they just directly body slam it. Let's get another Ecom Toke. Hopefully we'll have... Okay, yeah, I think se if we have 17 at this point, we're definitely going to have enough for the final train. Where did you come from? Who sent you? Who sent you to attack me? And ruin my comments! Okay, so... <laughs> All right, let's get the crap out of here. Now that's taken care of. So now we're... Wait, what? Oh, it's this one. Whoops. Now that that's been settled, let's get our next Jiggy, which all we gotta do is come over here. And do I see notes? Yes, I do, but we're gonna do that a little bit later. For the meantime, let's do a backflip and do this. So, this is kind of a sequence break. There's really nothing in the game as far as my gameplay that'll show you this, but there's basically a code somewhere in the Rusty Bucket Bay. It's on the side of the ship, and it has a six-digit number. This is the six-digit number. Just hit the numbers, and you'll get yourself another Jiggy. Yeah. Pretty, pretty easy. Let's 
take that one, and okay. So now we only got a couple left to get. I know exactly where the Jinjos are. That's one thing that is nice about this level. The Jinjos are in very distinguishable places. So at least that's good. Yeah, now, yeah, now. And I'm gonna make sure not to forget those notes down there. But really quickly, though, we're gonna work towards the next. Uh, let's see. Technically, I guess it is just one Jiggy that we have to get over here, but it's kind of important that you know about this area, okay? Damn, there's actually a ton of notes up here. Gosh, I didn't really realize that. And man, this song is really good. <laughs> this is really like, I don't know, doesn't really make me want to work, but it, it kind of feels like that, you know? Yeah, anyways. Another Jiggy is up here near these smoke stacks, and then we're gonna come over this way. Be very careful, because yes, there is another one of these chomping dudes. That's gonna stop you from trying to get this Ecom token. So we wanna take him out. Alright, so now we got that. We now technically need to go back down. Huh. I could technically get the witch switch, but no, I think it's better if we just <gasps> fall down and take a bunch of damage. No, not really. Well, I guess that kind of is helpful since. Now I'm gonna get these notes, so... I planned that! Uh, not really, alright. Gosh, I'm sorry if I'm not being very funny or anything. This level takes a lot of concentration, in my opinion. And this may just be a couple of notes. I don't like... Oh, nope, this is where Jiggy is. Let's get these notes over. Actually, it was both. <laughs> so let's destroy these guys in the very... Apparently, this is the captain's quarters. Cool. That's neat. That's neat. Oh, yeah, there's no one of these chewy dudes in here. Get out of here! Simply destroy that with the side B. Actually, crouching B, I guess. And get another G. So now, we just have one Jiggy left to get. <laughs> Thankfully, the issue with that is, uh, we're missing a ton of notes. Literally a ton. We need to track those down, too. And what is the quickest way up here? I guess, jumping on top of this. Is this the real one? I hope it's the real one. Okay. Yep, it is. Cool. So now, uh, let's see. I guess we'll just backflip up here, too. Do this. Nice, nice, nice. Everything's going according to plan. <laughs> Yorick. It's going according to plan. You know, Yorick's the skull. And Macbeth. I think it's Macbeth. I don't really know. It could be Hamlet. Not sure. I don't really like Shakespeare that much. I know it's going to make everyone mad at me, but I don't care. Some of his comedy or tragedies are bad. They're mean. I don't like tragedies. I like happy books. I like comedies. Comedy gold. Comedy gold. Okay. So I'm not being weird. Uh, let's get the witch switch, and that is not nearly going to be high enough. Oh, gosh! Uh. So what you're going to do is just a talent trot and basically go as far as you can and use the beak attack to make you go just a little bit farther. But John isn't very good at this segment. Now is he? No, he's not. Not at all. And we're going to have to do it again. Come on, come on. Okay. So. I don't think there's any notes on that side of the ship that I still have to get. I think I just literally have to do this. Then destroy this little box thing, and then we'll be good to go. Is that good enough? Yes, it is. All right. That's probably probably one of the hardest witch switches to get, and that's gonna make a very easy to get Jiggy spawn for once in this game, which is very nice. Now we basically have to get back up there, fight the boss, and that'll be all the Jiggies. But we still have Jinjos to get, which is a pain. Jiggos? Did I just say that? That's kind of weird. So <laughs> Jinjos and their Jiggies to get, which will suck. Will suck, but. Hey, that's part of the game, don't you know? I'm gonna probably need this golden feather. Don't know if I used one yet, but I recommend you get some golden feathers. Golden feathers will definitely be handy for what we're gonna do next. Having ten is way more than enough. If you got that money, you should be good. You should be good, alright. Let's get these ones, and oh gosh. I still think I have to go to the dumpsters, so I'm gonna actually activate this toll down here before we do anything else. Is that, are these even going in? Come on, dude. Gosh, my aim that bad? This is probably the worst toll bridge in the game because it is not even a bridge. It's a bad. It's it's not. It sucks. It sucks a lot, and you really can't control the camera here because you're so close to that building. So that kind of isn't fun either. But if you just take it slowly, oh, oh, if you just take it slowly, the camera will cooperate. You should get across it just fine. If you mess up, there's tons of ladders to get you out of that nasty water. So yeah, we're almost done here. Just hope I don't mess up at the end. Good, good. Awesome, awesome. All right. So now, inside of these three dumpsters are going to be a lot of notes of memory serves and right? Not in this one, though. For some reason, they just put four. A bunch of TNT guys. Oh, gosh. Ooh. It's all right, though, if you take a little bit of damage. There's plenty of enemies to grind off here and get some honey. So that's good. That's good. And I don't think I need to activate the, the four toll because I knew I'd be circling around like this. But hey, that's fine. In this room, there's a lot more notes. Also, a lot more health and a lot more collectibles. So you're probably spending a little bit more time in here. 
beat that dude. Alright, let's get that. So, so far we're only missing 10 notes. Where are those rest of the 10 notes? I don't think, no, I think I missed one area on the ship near where the uh, button switches were with the three, the two, and the one. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Alright. Yeah, we're only missing five. If memory, yeah, okay, good. Let me just double check. Nope, we're missing four. So all I have to do now is track down the last two Jinjos, which were really close to one of the last two, and get the last five notes, and this level is done. This is why I like doing it in this fashion. I know I really messed up near that, uh... Was it the yellow Jinjo? I think it was the yellow Jinjo. But all in all, if you do the level in this order, it really helps a lot. All right, let's look around here. Are there any notes? Oh, that's not the way you look around, John. There's an toke and a couple feathers, so let's just track down that Jinjo and, oh, no, he should be around here. So Troy, this dude, and right behind these boxes, give me the blue Jinjo, so just one more Jinjo to collect. And do I even dare get that Ecom token? No, I don't really care. <laughs> let's just find our way back up these boxes and exit the level. Actually, not the level, just this little part. And gosh, I know this has been the least fun episode, but it's so hard, guys. Come on. Got me some slack. And I think that is actually the window that I'm looking for with the last couple of notes in it. Oh gosh, I still gotta go across this bridge again, though, don't I? Ugh, and I know I'm just gonna fall this time, but hey, that's alright. So now we gotta just take on the boss of this area, which the boss has a complete joke, and whoop, I'm getting a little close off to that edge, aren't I? <laughs> oh gosh. And okay. Okay, okay. I wonder if, like, Rare has some, like, secret vendetta versus, like, me the mechanized world or something, you know? They just hate machinery, because, like, if you think about it, a lot of the levels in their games are kind of, like, nature versus, you know, economics, I guess. I mean, this is the best way I can use to describe it, I suppose. Just, like, I don't know. I guess that was a really big theme in the 90s, though. Anyways, push this switch in once you've pretty much done everything. That's going to drop a giant box on the rusty bucket that is going to well lead us to the boss fight there are no notes down there though so I gotta make sure I have all the notes that I need actually I don't have to make sure I have all the notes that are required just gotta get through this segment get this last Jinjo then go down there get the last notes and we are done with rusty bucket bay never gotta do this level again because I hate it so much Ugh. all we got is the hardest level in the game which is the last level actually I don't really find that one to be that hard it's just hard to organize I guess <laughs> anyways that is the ninth jiggy so now what we gotta do is get back onto the rusty bucket, which could be slightly hard, not really. Let's see what this says. Turquoise England? Twee I can't even say that word, I guess that's a really British word, huh? Even though all words are technically British in the English language, because England created our language, if you really think about it. Yeah, at least, yeah, English did. The English did create English. Who would have thought that? All right. So our destination is technically over there, but the fastest way to get there is right here. So now I'm- oh gosh. I really hope the last couple of notes aren't in some area I'm like, just completely oblivious of. I think it's in one of these. I just can't remember which one. I guess we'll worry about that after the boss fight. The boss fight, if you have ten golden feathers, could not be easier. It's just an easy boss, honestly. And yeah, there he is, the final Jiggy of the level! Who does and the boss boom boxes hold? I've hidden my jigsaw. You'll never get it. Uh yeah. With the golden feathers at your hand, this boss is simple. It basically turns into a bunch of little small incarnations. And if you just don't do it like that, it's over in seconds. And there we go! The last jigsaw of Rusty Bucket Day. All you gotta do is find those last couple of notes and we're good to go. Yes! Huh, okay. I thought this was going to take me a lot longer, but it seems like we did pretty decent. You know, I got hit like a billion times by that fan, but it's alright. It's almost over, guys. <laughs> okay. So now, uh, I need to get my bearings down and locate that la- There's like one more little room for where, like, the, the sailors live. And I gotta find that. Oh, also, there's the code. In a pretty obnoxious area, I guess. Is this it? Yes, it is. This- Ugh. I hate you. This should have the last five, uh, jiggies. Yep, there they are. Actually, not jiggies. Notes. 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 Remember, my notes. My notes, man. All right. If we flip up here, I call it. Yep, there's a little picture of Conker. Just chilling. Actually, no. This doesn't have the last note. Oh, well, okay. So now we just need... Oh, my gosh. Did I miss exactly one note? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, man? 
Oh, just kidding. It was right there. <laughs> and we found all the notes for this world. Pretty cool. So now that is then taken care of. Rusty Bucket Bay, screw you. I'm never coming back. I hate you so much. I'm out of here. So let's go find the exit really quickly and leave. Leave ASAP. And I know it's probably pretty hard to watch just because I was struggling so much. This place is hard. The platforming is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Guys, dang. Well, that's going to pretty much do it for this episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Hope you enjoyed it. Because, well. You're not going to see me suffer anymore, because guys, we only have one more level to do in this game, and we're going to start on it in the next part. So see you guys then. Bye.